We got Goku and Vegeta, Vegeta, Humbled Universe 7. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers on this page. Make sure you hit the All subscribe right, so button. I know some Let's of y'all like, yo, Kev, where the solo leveling vid at? Well, unless y'all want me to talk about how many steps he took the episode, not much really happened. I'ma just give y'all the whole rundown on both episodes oh, this week. But anyways, y'all already know what this is. Another film. I ain't gonna lie, that solo leveling, his solo leveling video has been kind of hitting. I ain't gonna lie. It kind of been hitting, but you know we had to get back on that. The DBZ, you know, you know it's me, nigga. It's me, man. Another episode when the yeah, currently bro. airing shows are kind of dry. I will let y'all oh, choose bro. the topic. I right, so boom. This starts off with Beerus and Champa planning to have a tournament. If Beerus wins, he gets his Super Dragon Balls, and if Champa wins, he gets to have Earth. And to be honest, I should have known this was gonna be a blowout just by looking at the starting five. They really brought <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, a Timu Frieza, a random ass robot, a privilege. Not a Wish Freezer, not Timu Freezer. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. He right though. He right though. Aged Stan. This dude grew up in a gated community. He don't understand the struggle. He ain't have to get out the mud like Goku. He wasn't trapping on the block every day like Vegeta. He's not the same. And now he is the only one here who gets my respect. That boy got hands. But anyways, up first we got. I always, but I did think that Hit's character design was cool, except for his head looks like a. It looks like a peen, bro. He, he looks like a peen. He the definition of a dickhead. Uh, Goku versus Winnie. So Goku leaped over his head and what is he looking at? Did bro just pause the game? He had about five business days to react to that shit. And the prize for that Stop. foolishness was a point blank Kamehameha. But we all know it wasn't going to end that easily. Uh, then this dude had the audacity to taunt. Like he didn't just have you looking goofy a second ago. Then Goku rushed in throwing the mean haymakers. But got nothing but hit markers. And I don't know who you think he is walking down Goku like that cause Damn. buddy. Ain't nobody scared of your ass. Oh, hey. scary. Oh, 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 shiver my timbers. The time you took to take those few steps should have been you to throw a punch because you did all that extra shit just to get flipped on your back and yeah, dragged on the stupid. ground. And the fact we, that Goku's we, weaving them blasts without we. looking told me that when he's at most a 75 overall paint defender. But now Goku's just playing with his food because he really could have just thrown him off the arena real quick. Instead, he looked at us and was like, watch what I'm about to do to this nigga. Waits for him to try to grab him just so he can hit him with a clean reverse throughout the ring. Violated, nigga. Violated. And I just now realized this nigga duh, is based off Winnie the Pooh. The whole color combination. I literally didn't even realize it. This nigga was a, it was a whack ass character anyway. Let's keep it real. I don't pay no attention to that nigga, bro. I ain't nobody pay. So after garbage. bodying Winnie, it's time for Frost to get in the mix. He Man, dashed in, weaved the punch, too. both knees to the cranium, Poison put him thing. in the spin cycle, then power drive his head into the ground. That's okay. when Goku was like, all right, bro, enough with that holding back shit. Go full power before I knock your ass out. And that boy Frost wasted no time. He's a professional at following instructions. So they both dashed That's in trading blows. And look at his... Come on, bro. Piccolo already handled that transformation back, back in Namek, bro. Come on, man. You coming through with the... That's Goku said full power. You come with that? With the Xenomorph version? Come on, bro. Look at this. Stupid. Got him. Actually, I'm lying. Piccolo actually beat the the second stage. Is when he transformed to this is when he started beating Piccolo because I remember the finger when he was doing that. And look at his face. Boy he thought he was going to do something. Sometimes nope. y'all be forgetting who Goku is. He is a definition of having hands. He's Goku him, then him speared him into the wall, but Frost come said here, he's no easy lick. Blocked all them hits and sent him across the map. And I, I don't know I why this key blast spam is still in our arsenal, bro. That shit has never worked. So then Goku finally upgraded to the Kamehameha. And not gonna lie, that shit is 0 for 2 right now. He really ran in there <laughs> face first, and I know he was not happy about that Spirit earlier, so he had to get his lick back. But that's not all. He Goku decided to treat him to okay. a 20 piece okay. combo. Okay. Lemon pepper Goku all drums. Knows. Then knows, Frost brought his arm all the way to the moon and hit Goku so hard he did a backflip. Then he proceeds to air out the whole block and still somehow missed every single shot. Now, mind you, Goku is doing all this in base form and is still telling Frost to power up. So Goku was like, I bet, let's both go full power. Then Frost powers up to his final form while Goku went to a mere Super Saiyan. I knew this nigga was cooked. He's stuck in Namek power levels. So Frost dashes in with all his might. With Tell you right now, that, that form don't do well against Super Saiyan. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I know Freeza somewhere having PTSD, man. <laughs> You feel me? Every ounce of power with nothing but pure confidence just for Goku to stop his attack with one hand. Eat life and look at the work, face Goku bro. made. Oh my god, this oh nigga my is so god. ass. He died. 
the freest of eats. The eats are free 99, nigga. The freest of eats. They got just free eats for everybody. That's back in doing the, the same exact time. attack just to get hit with the same exact right hook. And mm. I'm telling y'all, whenever Goku goes Super Saiyan, that man gets slick disrespectful. Gave that right. boy Frost a mouthful of pavement. That's what I say And blood, look how I'm Goku just standing there. He know Frost better do some dumb shit. He went back in for the third time with the same right hook just to really? get a face full of boot. But Frost refuses one. to go out like that. He went back in once again spamming square. But Goku hit him with that counter and put him in an unblockable. You and look at Goku. Mixed, bro. Why is he so mad? What did Frost do to you that pissed you <laughs> off so much? Like you forced him into doing the stanky leg. No matter what he does, he's, he's already lost. But turns out Frost had another trick up his sleeve. He threw the slowest punch in all of Dragon Ball just so Goku can block in and get drugged in the process. At this point, it was GG's. She Frost kicked Goku and knocked him out of the ring. But now it's Piccolo's turn to step in. But matter of he fact, Super hold my nigga Piccolo. They demoted my boy to Yamcha levels. Damn, they always hold Piccolo. Can we just, can we just, that's just like, I don't know what it is. I Can we just, like, I, I've ranted about this so many times, I'm not going to keep doing it. But, I, and I see now that they gave Piccolo his little transformation. By the way, if you go back, I made a video where I said, I predicted Piccolo's transformation before Dragon Ball Super. I cannot, I mean, uh, Superhero. I cannot remember what video it is, but on everything I love, if somebody finds that, y'all might be like, wait a minute, is Dragon Ball Z watching this nigga screw? Because I swear to you, I per I said everything down to the demon form, down to him getting big and turning back to the Piccolo Diamon, to, to the uh, 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 antennas going up, I, all of that. Like horns, all of that. I don't know. Fam, if somebody can find that, please tweet that to me at Jean where I did it. I can't remember what Dragon Ball Z video it is. You're going to have to do some searching. But I swear to you, if I, I the only reason I haven't even brought it back up is because I was like, man, I don't know where I, how I'll find it. But them niggas, I, ain't nobody going to tell me they didn't watch my video I'm thinking that. Call me whatever you want to call me, bro. Because some of y'all be like, this nigga's screwed, bro. This nigga's screwed. Like, when someone find that. And y'all know that's before superhero drop. Y'all be like, wait a minute. I'm telling you. Before I'm entering the ring, Piccolo really was like, oh damn. Goku, if you couldn't beat him, then is it really a chance for me to win? Is this nigga serious? Yeah, like I know trash. Goku is strong and all, but Piccolo well, would right, never say bro. no sorry shit like that. This Facts. isn't like the boo situation when they threw everything at the nigga and he just walked it off. This is an off-brand Frieza. An off-brand Frieza who can't even handle Goku in base form. And you know what yeah, made it worse? Stop. Bro didn't even throw a single punch. He immediately went to special beam cannon. You telling me after all this time, Piccolo not even Super Saiyan level? Long story short, Frost out here moving like Cardi B and ended up drugging my boy. Proceeds to speed blitz, Piccolo hit him with a point blank key blast. Now, this is when they all find out that Frost was using poison this whole time, but Vegeta's stubborn ass just couldn't let it go. Frieza embarrassed that man no, too many wanted, times he and he got to take his anger out on someone. And when back. I tell you, this man Frost was... By the way, make sure y'all check out my new single, um, A Million, celebrating I just hit a million subscribers on the Screwface John channel. Uh, streaming everywhere. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Chatting about 98% of this fight was this man talking and all that yip yap just to get speed blitzed. So now it's Vegeta Easy. versus the robot and Champa's cheating ass really put up a second barrier. The robot. Hold on. Why did why did Piccolo remain eliminated if he got if he cheated? Dashed in, but look at that step back. Vegeta said this is light work. Both arms still cross weaving all them hits. Jumped up with a three-piece boot stomp cave in his head. In. That was a slight setback, but Robot was just getting started. He revved up that engine and went full Usain Bolt on his ass. Not gonna lie, if someone is weaving all your hits and they feet don't move an inch, you might as well pack up. Bro, Vegeta been packing up Android. He, did, he particularly has beef with androids. I swear to God. Put up, because, buddy, you're under level. But Robot must be a fan of Ninjago. That man pulled out the spin jitsu. See, now that Vegeta's up there, he realized that the barrier is placed because Robot Man can't handle air attacks. Now, with all the options he has, this man really chose Key Blast Spam. <laughs> Vegeta of all people should know how dirt this move is. He's doing the same thing here and is getting beat by lava spit. Then Robot Man ended up filling the box with smoke, so Vegeta went Super Saiyan. But for one, for one time, you know what would throw us off, Riders of Dragon Ball Super? Do the key spam. How that bitch work? 
That'll throw us off. Turns out Robot Man was thinning the air. So Vegeta finally upgraded to the Gala Gun, but once again, this dude was outdone by Lava Spit. Then Robot Man shot a blob of lava, but that was only a diversion. Had that man doing somersaults, but someone in the studio must have had enough of Toriyama's antics. Can't have the prince go out like that. That man was standing on a Lego size of debris. Now, one thing about Vegeta is that his pride is not to be messed with. Being saved by a rule put him in a whole different zone. He started charging up until he broke the barrier. Now after doing that, he decided to charge up the most useless attack in history. The final flash is 0 for 27. That shit has never worked. If he uses that attack, just know you're surviving. So he blasted Robot Man, pushing him to the edge of the ring. Vegeta spun the block, called that nigga a bum, and punched him out. It worked. Really had him curled up in the corner too. Now it's Vegeta oh, versus Kaba. The match begins and Kaba instantly went for a left, but Vegeta read that easy. He started spamming square, then went for a spin kick, the but Kaba. mid kick directed his foot the other way. Then Vegeta went for that right weave, DBZ okay. special. Vegeta mm, told that nice. little boy to calm down though. Went for the front flip boot stomp, but this dude canceled his animation mid motion, switched feet, and kicked him right in the jaw. Whoa! And this frost stole Vegeta's whole move set. First his stance, and now the guy. That was hard. Now Vegeta was getting bored of this, so he told him to go Super Saiyan. But to no one's surprise, he don't got that skill unlocked yet. Oh my god. This is one of the moments. This is one of the moments that forever had me not like kind of. This is one of the moments where I was like, yep. I think this is about where I get off this Dragon Ball Z train, man. It's been good. You feel me? You held me down for a long time. You know, after school, niggas used to. Niggas used to literally use same bolt run where the back of your foot was touching the back of your head because you was trying to catch that tsunami, nigga. Ah, you was running home. But this is where it's just like, hey, nigga, we got to sell toys, nigga. And you feel me? They were always about selling toys, but now it's like, come on, man. We need Kaba Super Saiyan. And we ain't, we've already hoed what it is to be Super Saiyan. Let's just thoroughly hoe it here. This is when Super Saiyan meant absolutely nothing right at this moment. Here we go. And the mistake he made was asking Vegeta to teach him how to do it. We all know about Billy Maguire, but right now it's Bully Jita. He went Super Saiyan, Speed Blitz little bro had nothing but a smile on his face. Dash behind him and as you can see, this man is sponsored by Fiction. Vegeta's fist. That's a permanent dent in his stomach. He looked over his shoulder and that's the, oh shit, I'm cooked face. Hit him with a mean knuckle sandwich, but he ain't gonna drop his combo though. Ran up behind him and was giving him mean back shots. Kicked him in the air and this man smiles again because the violation that's about to occur is villainous. Vegeta started playing kickball with his body and Kaba is constantly saying the wrong answers. He said he gives up, but that just made Vegeta even more mad. Vegeta Caught that either. man by his collar and was like, listen here, little nigga. You, your moms, your pops, your family. Matter of fact, your whole planet gonna get blown up. And you wanna know why? Cause you was a bitch. Ah. He went Super Saiyan, dashed him with a gut punch, easy. Uh, actually, you know what? It, it, it wasn't this moment that it, it, it died. It was when they explained it. Let me let me revise that because, oh my god, I get it. Okay, I like the. Uh, 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 I forgot that this even happened. Man, I watched Dragon Ball Super when it first came out and then forgot like a lot of it. So I guess in a way it is. You know, he's telling he's, he's gonna blow the plan is gonna blow up. You a hoe beating him up, talking about killing his family. All right, okay, that that has checked out to historically be a good reason to transform. Um, but at the same time, bro, like, and I guess it's because we, we, we watched Goku and Vegeta and Gohan, bro, when you, that Super Saiyan 2 transformation, because people could also argue that the Super Saiyan 1 for Gohan might have been a little less, but then the Super Saiyan 2, but then the hyperbolic time chamber, these things didn't do that. That Super Saiyan 2 transformation, Goku's transformation on Namek, Vegeta's transformation before the androids. Fam, fam, the, the argument could really start when Future Trunks turns Super Saiyan. No, actually, I'm lying. I'm lying. They got to lose Gohan, all kinds of, no, I'm lying. I'm dead lying. I'm dead ass lying. But it just started getting to points like, just give him a good speech. You don't even got to mean it. And they'll turn Super Saiyan. Before, someone had to die. Vegeta had to think of all his failures. 
We watched him. How could his low-level Saiyan be better than the Prince? And that goes further, nigga. It's the anger of not being able to beat Frieza that killed his father. Destroyed his whole family, man. All of that culminated to that moment. And then you just whoop Cobb and be like, yeah, nigga, your plan gonna blow up you a bitch. Ah! Which is still okay, but when they get to the back tingling, that's when it was over. That's G block. Super but that Super Saiyan boost ain't no joke. He really had Vegeta in the uwu stance. Vegeta then <laughs> threw his hands apart, hit him with the sweep kick, Ooh, but Cabba nice. caught himself mid fall and hit him with a double handstand nice kick. Well. That was an all star move play. Caught his ass flipping though. And Cabba really Vegeta's son for real. Started using that same bum ass attack. This is when I knew all this shit was fake because Vegeta knows that shit don't hurt. He smiled, side swiped the blast, yeah. and just stood there. Bro blocked the puncher with his cranium. And this whole time, Vegeta was just teaching him how to go Super Saiyan. And if I was Kappa, I'm never forgiving him, bro. The way you beat him in front of everybody was Ooh, unacceptable. I, I get it was to make it believable, but come on, bro. The back shots. Yeah, he's pushing you ain't have to do all that. Then Vegeta flexes Super Saiyan Blue saying he'll get here one day and proceeds to gut check that nigga. But now Universe 6 is up to the last fighter. It's now Vegeta yeah. versus Hit. Vegeta yeah, powers up to Blue. Hit throws them dukes up and hit him with a Euro step. But Vegeta thought it was yeah, sweet and got popped in his mouth. He powered up again, dashed in, tried to hit him with the fake out, but bro was punching air. Then Vegeta got hit with a Diana special. And Hit must have just watched a Baller's Life mixtape because he loves them Euro steps. Headshot. Stun him. The extendo finger on the temple is crazy. Then a crispy five piece. And that combo had Vegeta discombobulated. He had no clue what was going on. Going for the jab, psych, back shot. And he didn't even use time skip here, bro. Just weaved. So Vegeta got some. That time skip shit kind of cheating. Hey, nigga, get it how you get it. Distance, but that's when Hit threw his hands in his pockets. That is bizarre levels of disrespect. Then he time skipped <laughs> Prince Vegeta, and those hands went straight back into his pockets, too. Now you can't have the Prince on all fours and that's just cheap. get away with that's it. Powered cheap. up once again, and he pretty much just walked into that gut punch. But this time he had a plan. He grabbed his arm, and that would have worked on literally Dying. anyone that's not Hit. Vegeta ends up passing out, and those she hands go right back into his pockets. And as. What's up? Universe 6 cheating, nigga. Y'all ain't some cheaters, bro. I get time skip as a technique, but nigga, when you could freeze time, like, what, what is you, Goldo? I will say they beat Goldo, and Goldo literally used to hold his breath and freeze time, so. As you can see, he is stand over game certified. So now that Vegeta is eliminated, it's time for the final match of the tournament. Goku versus Hit. He dashed in going for the double. Oh, yeah, didn't pick a lot like this. Fain to the sweep kick, but immediately got gut checked. Leaps into the air, flew down with another faint, but you're gonna have a hole in your stomach at this point. God damn. But this is when That's Goku cool. said he got a hand on how to beat him. Dashes in once again, but this time he blocked his attack. Then he predicts where his gonna go with that back mm, fist. God was you. like, nah, bro, that was straight luck. So Stupid. Goku was like, I bet, watch this. Went for the spin Come kick, through. blocked the hit, and look how Goku's already guessing where he's gonna go. He f I ain't gonna lie to you. The fighting. And, and super, let me give y'all props, nigga. Y'all nigga, the fighting is A1 now. It is better than it used to be. Come on now. The choreography, the fight, it's better. The writing might not be anywhere near as good. Finally but, takes his hands out of his pockets and it's time to get serious. Went Super Saiyan Blue, dashed in, and Goku was hitting nothing but air. Weave hits punch, went behind him, and they clashed. I don't know if Come Hit on. got scared Come to use his time Come skip because Goku hit him with a mean three piece. No, hit he finally know. locked in again and used his time skip, but Goku said, Back your ass up. But God. when someone gets Stop laid out like man. that and they start laughing, just know they bad news. So he got back up and they say a single word. Why you cheating, man? Power up, nigga. Show me something. And you know, yeah, whenever someone just start looking at the hand like that, they got a crazy power up. So hit dashed in, and somehow he was the one forced to play defense. But he had enough of that shit and gave him a knuckle sandwich. Okay, but that's when those. Goku chopped down the follow up and gave him a knuckle Goku sandwich of his though. own. So he ended up pushing hit back and was trying to finish him off. But hit done got that new upgrade. Hit Goku so hard he was immediately on his knees. This is the second. That nigga went back to the uh, uh, the heart. Uh, animation you, Goku, we all know goku have a bad heart you gonna hit him in his in his heart knowing he got a bad heart nigga you 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 you, you niggas is come on my universe trying to win 
Honorably, you niggas got poison, time skips, hit niggas in their weak spot. Thank you, Tom. Today, hit proved he's in standover gang. So they're both back on their sides, and this dude hit red Goku like a book. He restated Goku's entire plan and said that shit was whack. Time skipped, and that boy Goku got dealt one of the worst combos in history. Then hit him with the, I'm not done improving yet. Even though that was a devastating 50 piece, Goku isn't done yet. I don't know Goku, how he's still on, standing man. after all them hits because Vegeta got put Cut down after like five. But Goku had one more trick you know, up Goku, his sleeve. Okay. Come on now. now I'll show you the Kaioken. Bring that back. That man right powered back. up so much that he changed the color of the atmosphere itself. And not gonna lie, once the anime intro song starts playing, you know you're cooked. Dashed in and immediately clocked him. And Hit really thought that. Come on, Kaioken. That's an OG move. I like how they brought that shit back. I always used to be like, why did they start? Three techniques I never understood why they stopped using Dragon Ball Z. KO Ken. Because no matter how strong you are, it's more of a boost. And I know it takes a lot out of Goku's body. But you would think that he would have trained with all these different an transformations that take out so much from him that he could at least go KO Ken times five on a nigga something. Something light. That's a big power boost for how so the stronger you get, the stronger that attack gets. Another one I I don't understand why they stopped using destructo disc. Now I know that they kind of nerfed destructo disc, but boy, back when destructo disc was destructo disc, it didn't matter who threw it. Krillin could throw a destructo disc at Frieza, and Frieza still had to dodge it. Now they've done it where the niggas can just like grab it and blow it up. But destructo disc used to be a, a energy disc that cut anything that it hit that's why krillin was was still very usable that's another one i don't understand why they did and solar flare i i understand that one a little bit more because they could sense energy so it, it, back that was a super op move when niggas didn't couldn't sense energy but if you can i've seen niggas dragon Ball Z whoop niggas eyes closed so i guess that one makes sense but to bring back the the integrity of destructo disc and I'm loving that they brought back Kaioken. A weak ass Tom Sleep was going to do some. Blocked that kick and decided to repay for that 50 piece combo from earlier. What's up, Teleported down and charged up that Kamehameha. And he really put out his hand like that was finna do some. See, unlike the final flash, the Kamehameha can actually catch bodies. When Goku let that blast fly, hit said, oh, hell no. But Goku was on that. That Kamehameha right there was so strong that it took out the barrier. I ain't going to lie. Goku is a Kamehameha specialist. Ain't nobody took, everybody has just the standard Kamehameha, cool. Goku has done things with the Kamehameha where I go, God damn, this nigga done, done warped, he done threw instant transmission in it, the nigga done grinded Kefla's beam, nigga grinded a blast with it, came back and I figgy. The nigga, I saw him hopping around. This nigga done control the command man so much. I seen him load it up, hop around, get close to a nigga, then let it go. Like, man, the Mutton Roshi might have been the creator of the command man. He might have been the one that taught him, but Goku done took the command man to a level Roshi ain't never seen. I'm sorry, Roshi. We respect you. No Roshi slander. You feel me? You made it a hot line. He made it a hot song. I'm just saying, bro. Where Whis and Vado try to step in real quick to fix it. So they both came up on opposite sides, and that's when we find out that Hit improved his time skip at the last second, so he's able to avoid that attack. But before that, Champa was over here running his mouth talking about how they're all pawns. But look at this. Check your stupid ass. Beerus would never. But anyways, they both powered up, and Hit's time skip is simply unbeatable. Gave Goku another serving of that 50 piece. When he lost his Kyle Ken, I was like, damn, GG's. Psych! Never, nigga. You know what it is? He said that shit was a prank. That knuckle sandwich was so What's strong, up? it gave him three different Ooh. angles. Now, Hit and Goku were both on 10 HP. So, Goku turns to Beerus and asks him to allow killing in a tournament. Why? Well, since Hit is an assassin, he wants him to go all out. Beerus and Champa started arguing about it, but that's when Goku walks out the ring Man, himself. Goku, he pretty much said that Kyle Ken would have ran out in the middle of the fight anyway. But no need to worry. It's the big dog's turn to fight. <laughs> he walked up on him and bowed out of respect to the dead. Hit his light work to a nigga like this. Ran in with a one hitter quitter. 
Look at that insane technique. The delayed punch can only be mastered by the dog himself. Made easy work a hit. But it was no surprise. A nigga like this only comes once in a lifetime. He the real gangster. Goku who? You feel me?